Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, as the current round, round five of season two, is winding down, um, some unfinished business to um, run through here to pick up some gold along the way, if nothing else. Uh, since uh, I already posted the video for the Huayra Royale, where you can pick up some 70 gold with uh, by spending just uh, some excess racing dollars on upgrades for the car, then uh, you should be able to get through four stages of that event. So, um, you know, that's even if you don't, you decide not to spend any gold and go all the way to win the car itself, I think, um, you know, partial payout, I think it's, it's pretty decent. So, uh, yeah, even if you cannot afford uh, like a couple of hundred gold plus, um, the, I think it's still worth, you know, making as far as you can. Speaking of making as far as you can, for this video, we'll make some uh, progress in the other special event. This one, uh, Track Day uh, event. So this one has a set PR requirement, right? So it's not like we can go through like... Um, go past certain stage with only racing dollar upgrades only we should be able to get through the first two stages with racing dollar upgrades only so that's what uh, at least plan is for this account um, so even if you don't pick up the car itself by going all the way through uh, you should be able to pick up I think you get eight gold for completing first two stages which is planned for this account my third account Anyway, so once again, because I am getting started on this event in the final day of the current round, the instant upgrade offer has long been expired. So we'll just have to uh, wait between, I guess, stages to get the upgrades to kick in. Uh, good day, mate. Glad to see you here in the States. So this one uh, is going to be taking place entirely at the uh, new Lime Rock Park. So that's kind of fun to, uh, you know, spend some time in the new circuit. Speedster takes wing. Right, okay. So I've always had a kind of respect for you. You're a real no-nonsense type and I need someone just like that for a bit of help if you'll indulge me. You have a, a few all-nonsense types back home, don't we? What? Back home, are we talking Australia? Yeah, Norm's Australian, right? I've got my hands on an interesting thing back here. A new car inspired by some 50s classics. They call this beauty the Aston Martin V12 Speedster. Had a bit of tear, tear in my eye when I first saw her. Uh, we all know I got a few little white whispers under my cap, so I need that straightforward thinking brain of yours to have a bit of a test run on the new wheels. I right, don't want to cause myself some arrhythmia or something of that sort if the new wheels are a bit unstable. Uh, if the car tracks well, I was even hoping to start a club of sorts, especially for people like myself who can appreciate the old classics. Old classics, appreciating old classics as it were. Ha! Alright, so, um, in terms of the, let's see, PR requirement, if you want to 100% complete this one, you do need to get your PR up to 58.7, and, uh, Typical format, you need to get three upgrades across the board, 21 upgrades total, so base PR 45.3, um, and upgrading up to the PR 58.7 will cost you some 349 gold and 1,692,800 racing dollars. Uh, on this account, I'm not sure if I'm going to go all that far, but I will definitely get the uh, stage one racing dollar upgrades so I can get past stage two and pick up essentially converting some of these um, racing dollars to uh, what do we call that the uh, 
gold, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, is there gonna be four hour wait though? So we'll see what we can do. All right, just a single lap at Lime Rock Park. We're starting with road course. I can never keep track. And uh, let's see, I miss what the actual goal was. I think it was like target speed, top speed. I guess uh, we'll see. Let's double check. Hit the top speed, yeah. 239.8 kph. So about 240. And warm up your tire to 75%. Um, so of course, if you do some sideway driving, it does help with uh, warming up those tires. Boy, this one can spin, can it? But uh, you gotta stay on track because if you go off track, your tires will get cold. All right. See, can we hit the target speed here? Uh, I don't quite have parts to push it that far there. Maybe I should have. But I'm hoping. We can do it in the final bit. There we go. <laughs> Just barely. But you know what? Successful goal is a successful goal. All right. So that's good enough for goal one. Just barely. All right, pick up a couple of hundred fame points for that effort. And uh, we got Dodge Challenger SRT8, uh, Volkswagen XL Sport, Mustang GT Premium, uh, Alfa Romeo, Giulietta TCR, Mazda MX-5, the new version, ND, and uh, Beamer M3 Coupe, and so on. Some Nissans and Honda 2000, S2000 GT, and Sylvia even. What a grid. All right, so takes out maybe four and a half service bars or so. All right, so goal one down. Moving on to goal two. Uh, she's faring superbly. Wouldn't trust anyone else behind the wheels of my new car. Let's try and see how far we can start pushing it. So goal two, what do we have to do? Uh, hit some good speed. So tar uh, top speed challenging. So it's, uh, we'll go with the metric. So it's more like a, we'll call it 211 kph, seven times. And finish under minute 58. All right. And which track layout are we getting? This one's West Circuit, so different. Right, okay. So 211, I think is what it said, right? So. Right. Now this is much grippier since we have a full grip this time. And the west circuit I want to say is the one with the chicane. Not here but the, on the other side, right? This side. So you kind of have to slow down. Make your way through, right. The bus stop. All right. All right, so we hit the target seven times. So final lap, we just have to uh, wrap it up under 50 now, 50 seconds. Yeah, pretty fast circuit. 
is short. Oh. And the bus stop. There we go. And I think we may have time, a little bit of time to spare, right? There we go. Good enough. Minute 51 and change. Payout isn't all that great, but uh, then again, we weren't out there all that long. So it takes out another like four and a half service bars or so. All right, let's continue on. Two goals down, two more to go for the stage one. Had a chat with some of the other folks on the track and they're keen to see how you fare on in the Speedster. Uh, what they don't know is you and me are good old professionals. <laughs> Try and, or semi-professional. <laughs> Try and lap a few of them. See if you can show them what the Speedster's really made of. Okay, so challenging. It, uh, the challenge is going to be lapping, I'd assume. Uh, you're coming up uh, coming in from the middle, I reckon if you put your heart into it, you can, you could lap six of them. So we need to lap six cars. All right, lap six cars. Got it. So tail end. And uh, yeah, so this grid isn't exactly uh, necessarily the most competitive grid for this guy. So... We're in the lead and we are going to be catching up to the tail end. Um, and this one we have a chicane here, right? Yeah. So yeah, it's like moving target. You have to really pay attention to which circuit layout you're in. Come on. Slippery. And uh, I'm anticipating as soon as you lap six cars, the will be done. I don't think we have to complete full lap or full... How many laps was it? Four laps or whatever that we've been given to complete the challenge. Oh, little. At least I didn't get stuck behind the chicane wall. That would be bad. All right, that's overtake or lap four. That's five, and just one more. And just like that, lap six cars, there we go. All right, worth some 500 fame points for that effort. All right, let's continue on. Ooh. Two service bars left. All right, goal three done though. I have a lot of free time nowadays, so the idea of starting a club of my own is very inspiring. Good for you. Bloody hell, is that another Aston Martin on the road? 
was hoping the speedster could just be a norm thing. Uh, I reckon you could run it off the road for me. So we got to pit the other Aston Martin. Catch up uh, to it at the front and try to run it off the track. There's only room for one speedster in Lime Rock. Boy, getting aggressive, are we? Fine. Okay, so we have to get up to the question mark driver, which we uh, will find out. Well, maybe you guys already know who it is. Uh, it's certain... Uh, let's just say a uh, very wealthy uh, fella in-game personality. There's only one, right? So we'll catch up and give him a little nudge. Come on. Boy, this guy's slippery, huh? There. There you go. Goodbye. Wait. What? Wait a minute. I did pit him. Oh, that is... That is so lame. I didn't do it hard enough? What is this? Come on, I definitely see his wheels, all four wheels go off track. Dude. Alright, fine, we'll do it in critical condition. No worries. I suppose I can always go backwards too. I didn't say I could win. Yeah, I don't think there was any condition to have to win, right? Uh, nudge off road. All right, so Should I push him off the road. Is that what I have to do? Uh. And that's a success. Maybe I was supposed to damage him. I don't know. That was goofy. All right. Well, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> I am through. That's the important part. All right. That's good enough for me. And you know what? Before we're through the stage two, we're going to have to uh, wait for those upgrades to be done anyway. So let's throw the car in for service. And uh, it's time to collect the stage one rewards. Here we go. All right. What do we have? We got... Whopping 3 gold, 750 victory points, and 1,200,000 uh, racing dollars. So, that's fine. It's worth something. If they came out to get us, just say, you got shaky hands, alright? <laughs> um, always works for me. Well, good for you. Ah, oh, my friends, fantastic to see you. Of course it's Ahmed. I didn't expect to see you out here in Lime Rock today, nor be the ones to have run me off the track. Ah, nah, yeah, that's a bit of an odd <laughs> coinky dink, isn't it? Coinky dink? Ah, uh, yes, the awkward moment. And look, old mate here has been having some issues with their hands. 
Uh, I can sense your desire to be as fast as you truly, so the mistake is forgiven. Uh, cheers for that. I see you also have your hands on the speedster. Brilliant taste pervades all our minds, I see. <laughs> yes, well, I'm getting a bit older and needed our mate here to lend me a bit of a hand doing some test runs. I was thinking about starting my own little retro classic club or something of that sort. Ah, now, what a fantastic idea this is. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna hijack the idea. I have been contemplating these last few hours on ways to bring further connection between the artist in our circle. Uh, there has been much tension we need to dissipate, and perhaps your club is the solution. See, this was a bit of a passion project of mine, so I could connect a uh, with a few more like-minded types. <laughs> what is what is truly fascinating about the human experience is how much we have in common without even knowing it. What? Even Magnus must be of like-mindedness somewhere. Well, of course. That settles it. I will help you with your classics club. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear is exactly right. Anyway, so that will do it for stage one. We'll catch you guys up in stage two in the next video. So catch you guys there. Take care.